What's going on, everybody? Painblade back here again from Server 1, representing IIC. Guys, we're back at it again. Ryo, Ryo, Ryo. What What the hell are we going to do with all this Ryo? Well, here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, I'm going to talk about this like I talked about it in the Rene Festival. When this first happened, there were so many things you could be upgrading, and it still stands to be the same way. One thing you guys should be focusing on, and I've been mentioning this from, I don't know, from the day I started probably playing this game, Item summons is your bread and butter for pretty much everything Ryo related guys. So what is item summons? For a lot of new players who don't know what it is, I'm going to go through it again probably for the 19th to 20th time uh, and why it's so important. So here is a button on your summon section that you may be avoiding but you should probably be focusing on more than anything else on this entire list. So item summons, especially for new players and veterans, pretty much everybody is, is vital. Okay, so um, what do you get from item summons? What you end up getting are pots, you get fragments for some of these characters here, uh, you get yourself promotional elixirs, which are extremely hard to farm because you need stamina to get them, you get yourself more Ryo frogs in order to make up for some of the money that you made, you also get some gamma, gamma uh, stones for your um, gamma, sh gamma shrines, you get vitality potions, which are extremely hard to get as well too, only place you can get them is here, as well as the uh, line shop, right, which you have to spend uh, your actual coins from the alliance coins. Uh, and then the most important thing you can get here, guys, are these scrolls called speed scrolls. Now, if you don't know what speed is, speed is pretty much everything in this game outside of power, all right? So, um, for the most part, speed actually beats power in its, in its viability and usability, right? So, uh, speed is used in arena, NWT, PvE now, all PvE content except for like uh, JE and stuff and, and regular missions. But any, any PvE that matters, speed takes over and is king. So with this insane amount of Ryo guys, I mean this is a little obscene because you guys know how I play the game, but I'm talking about even for the average player, you're you're getting more than you'll ever get, even more than the the, the Rene Festival. Um, this is what you want to be pressing. Now a lot of you are wondering, Pain, there's only a times ten. What the heck am I gonna do with this? I've already said what to do with it. I'm not repeating myself. If you want to know, go back to the live anniversary feed, look at it there. I don't promote it. Uh, but it is the most useful thing you can do. Uh, outside of that, guys, you'll be pressing this quite quite a bit, but it is worth it. And what you're aiming for, honestly, are these scrolls, okay? So, speed scrolls, if you don't know what they are, again, I explained it already, but go back to my speed videos and I'll explain to you in those videos how to properly apply them to all of your characters and how to speed up your actual characters as well too, all right? Now, what is the speed you should be aiming for? Quite simply, guys, you go to your, your little trophy on top here, you go to the uh, Shinobi Unlocked, Sorry, this is uh, should not be unlocked here. All right, and then you see the rest of your competition. So you can probably find a lot of the people you are fighting in this game uh, in this whole section here. And you can see my speed's a little over the top, all right? But I mean, if you look down and you look at people who have similar speed to you or speed that you're competing against, that's what you wanna beat, all right? So remember this though about speed. The more characters you have, the higher speed you're gonna have shown here. Just because somebody has lower speed, if they have less shinobi, doesn't mean they're slower than you. So it's always nice to have a padding, guys. Try to give yourself quite a bit of speed padding because, again, this is one of the only times. So what is the ratio of Ryo you should spend on item summons? My opinion, if you're starting off um, fresh, 50% of your Ryo should be going to item summons easily easily just to get you ahead of the game and again you're not only getting speed scrolls you're getting so many resources that, that require stamina you're going to be covering those so it actually saves you stamina in the long run to focus on other things that matter such as fragments gear stones etc right veteran players i say 75 percent until you're comfortable enough to know that you're the fastest on your server or at least can compete for the top three positions and get s class in the nwt you shouldn't let down because this is the only time and we're just at the beginning and, and i'll explain to you what i mean we're just at the beginning of the anniversary where ryo is abund is an abundant thing that you're getting as you gear closer to the end of it guys you want to start scaling back you want to start saving a lot more right because resources become expensive ryo becomes expensive skilling up awakening etc your ryo becomes useful for everything in the game and it is the only hard cap in this game outside of these events even for whales whales cannot buy ryo we're we're in the same shackles as you guys guys are when anniversary and stuff isn't around like renee festival in, in this one right so my suggestion to you is spend a little bit more now, start saving closer to the end. I'd say maybe about 10, 15 days, maybe halfway through, start scaling back a little bit and start saving more, right? Because again, speed is one of those things that is going to matter more and more in this game, as well as those resources. For new players, if you spend enough, 
you're actually gonna get yourself a couple seven star awakenings as well too because the fragments that drop in the actual uh, item summons are very useful fragments like Conqueror, you get yourself Kiba, Ten Ten, you get your Sakura, Yamato, etc. So those are some pretty damn good characters, OG characters that still are pretty relevant in the game for new players. So do yourself a favor, build your power up, get your speed up by doing that exact process. All right, that's number one. Number two, what do you get from doing item summons? Well, like I explained to you before, you're gonna get yourself the Gamma Prayer Stones. Now these stones here, tokens, all right, I call them stones, but they're used to, to essentially um, level up all your, your Gamma statues. Now these are extremely important. They give you insane amount of power when you rank them up and every level you increase, these increase again, so you'll need more stones to continue getting them up every single time. So these Gamma statues are, are pivotal to your growth in this game. They don't count towards rainbow, but they count towards your power and everything else you do. So getting item summons will give you guys enough of these here where you don't even have to worry about it anymore, ever collecting them. You just level these up as, as long as you level up, they'll go up in percentages, you max them out and you continue the process. And these, I mean, can give you up to 10K power per statue. So it's quite a bit and the stats are pretty insane. So check out my Gama statue video on how to level them up, what the best steps are, what the best process is, and what you should be focusing on out of the four statues first. There is a video on my playlist, guys. All of this can be found found on my guides playlist, and you guys should be checking that out often if you are subscribed to me. And if you're brand new, especially, you this that's where you go for everything. All right. Now the other thing you guys want to focus on are the shrines. Now mine are all bought already, but these cost so much, Ryo, guys. So normally I would never recommend getting these because it's just the obscene amount of Ryo cost. These are Shino coins. These are always Ryo. Okay. Um, right now is the time to buy them. So definitely use your Ryo right now, guys, and start maxing these out as soon as you can. Uh, because even though they're not the greatest stats, uh, they're still an increase in power and it's, they still do matter to some extent. So this is the time if you want to build on power to get these out of the way. As you can see here, they're all done. But I mean, some of these cost like 10 million Ryo. So it would normally be an obscene amount that I would never recommend going for. But because of the cost or because of the collection of Ryo we're getting through this event, this is the time to do it. So guys, 110% get that going. All right, another thing that I want to tell, talk to you guys about is your Shinobi themselves, all right? So I'm going to just show you guys real quick how expensive it is at level 99 to level up a skill. I don't even know if I can actually, but let's see. Look at that. 513,000 for one skill. All right, 588,000 for one skill. So almost a, a little over a million just for skill one and skill four. So as you can see, Ryo becomes a lot more uh, important as we play the game. And this is going to scale no matter what level you are. But because of the obscene amount of Ryo we're getting in this event, I want to give you guys a heads up. So if you're hitting level 80, 74, 75, like you're still paying quite a bit for your skills. So make sure you have enough Ryo guys saved up where your, your main shinobi especially can take advantage of it and you guys can max out some of these skills. Gear is included in that as well too, right? So gear actually does cost quite a bit of Ryo. Same with scrolls and talismans. Every time you upgrade them, so not actually level them, but upgrade them to the next tier, you require Ryo. And then lastly, the pesky vitality. These are probably the most ex expensive part of this entire section and you want to max out as many of these as you can for your characters. Now we have a spreadsheet uh, that is always linked to my, to my description. It is run by my Discord and shout out to Slim for keeping up with it. It tells you what recommendation I have for each of these and whether you should go level 20, 10 or 1 or, or 0. Um, so take a look at that and you guys can kind of figure out what you want to go with but right now ideally you want to max these out because these can cost up to four, 10, 20. Like, I mean, let's, let's take a quick look, right? Let's find somebody here who I can just kind of show you guys a glimpse of how much it can, it can cost you. Okay. So let's see if I can find, um, here, let's find a level one. There you go. So Papa Sasuke level one. All right. I never use this cause it's chakra up, but you know, I probably should max it out. So let's just max it out for the sake of doing it. So look at this. It's going to cost you uh, seven, 7 million, 7.2 million just to max out one vitality. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and max this one out, too, for the sake of maxing it out. So we have it out of the way. 3.5 from, what was that, level 3. Okay, so as you can see, different vitalities cost different amounts. So keep that in mind when you're doing this, all right? So this is the time now, guys, to get this done. Same thing applies. Get your speed up, get this out of the way, get the shrines out of the way, and you will be set for further success as long as you do that. It's very important, guys, especially right now, to be taking advantage of stamina. Stamina right now is key. Now, this is my browser setting or uh, version, so I don't have any shooting coins on here, but my mobile version, I'm constantly going time stand. If you can see here, I've already done it probably. I actually should show that I've done it. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Not what I was going for. 
I'm going for here. Sorry. As you can see, I've done times 10 already. All gone. Um, this here, I'm saving up for mid-anniversary. All right, so I've done half already of my bentos, and, and the rest of it I'm saving for mid-anniversary because I want to see what comes out and if they're adding additional uh, fragments inside the actual um, the anniversary boxes, right? So that is my incentive of holding on. I don't, I'm not in a rush to, to get rid of them, but I will hold on for those until that's done, and I'm still buying bentos. For free-to-play players, though, you should minimum be refreshing at least five to seven times, guys. This, is, this event is crazy. Like, this is a once-in-a-year once in a, in a event. We don't know what they're going to do going forward, so take advantage of this. Pretend this is the first time you're seeing this. Pretend the Rene Festival, this actually blows, blows the Rene Festival out of the water in terms of the, the resources they're giving you. So take advantage of it, guys. This is the time to do it. Also, your Ryo should be going in and purchasing as many of these as you possibly can that pertain to your level. Uh, also, because again, this is stamina related. You are gonna you are gonna require a lot of stamina uh, in order to get these for your characters, right? So make sure you're going into the marketplace every refresh, guys, and you guys are buying these that pertain to your characters and the ones you need. As you can see, I've got six thousand, so I'm not worried about these previous ones. I've got six thousand there. Uh, but these promotional boxes are also really important uh, and these will scale as the game goes on So once newer ones are added the older ones will be added to these ones and you can use them So it's always good to have a, an abundance of these available to yourselves, right? Um, and that's pretty much the main things guys you want to focus on other things for your shinobi that you may want to consider Of course is awakening them, right? So if you have like a, another star here waiting like this costs two million Ryo to get to seven stars So a lot of those seven stars that you're gonna get from fragments you may want to use your Ryo to, to awaken them now and take advantage of this opportunity to get some of these other characters up that you're not using that you may need for like Tower of Eternity or Abyss. So th that's the best way, guys, currently to spend your Ryo. Like it's one of those things again that you will get you will get hard capped on and you cannot advance further with Ryo because there's no way to do it. There's no way to whale. There's no way to farm it outside of stamina. Uh, but right now, because of the opportunity that we have use it wisely and use it to get some of these things out of the way so you don't have to worry about them anymore okay so that's my advice to you guys i hope this has helped a lot of newer players especially some veterans if there's things you missed and this helped you out let me know um, if there's anything i missed obviously guys comment section let me know there and i'll also make sure i add it to you and again uh shout out to everybody that's been uh posting all of their summons uh there's been a lot of shafts there's been a lot of uh, crazy insane amount of lucky pulls so it's wicked to see the community come together and uh and and you know do this as a as a group uh, cohesively and also do it as a group and have fun with it too so again best of luck to you guys this is pain have a wonderful sunday guys i'm doing this at night i'll see you guys monday morning have a great day everybody